I just wanted to make a quick video regarding my limiting beliefs uh, revolving around my fear of failure and my fear of public embarrassment due to that failure. I've never opened up like this on, on social media, so here goes. I want to talk about how that limiting belief has negatively affected my life and um, hopefully if any of you can relate to this, maybe this can encourage some different way of thinking and um, help you on your path in your life. This fear of failure has uh, been with me from the start, like from since I was a kid, and it's influenced a lot of decisions I've made unconsciously without my, you know, without my knowledge. This is just some programming that's inside the back of my mind that runs 24-7 and um, affects the decisions I make, the opportunities I take, um, how I choose to respond to things, etc. For example, when it comes to getting a job under somebody, working for someone, getting a clear structure and path, goals I need to take, scripts I need to memorize, and uh, duties that I need to do, I'm able to, I'm able to perform optimally and above expectation um, due to the way I work. Now, when it came to starting my real estate business, when it was all up to me, uh, the, f the fear of failure really affected my, my path, my growth. It, it affected everything. For example, let's see. When it came time for me to make calls or knock on doors and do the things that I had to do, uh, a part of me inside said, you're not ready, you might fail, let's keep practicing a little more, let's hold off on it, maybe you should lay in bed, maybe you should laze around and procrastinate a little more, open up TikTok, open up Instagram, just, you're not ready for that yet. And of course, I'm not consciously, I'm not consciously thinking this, I, this is all, this is all due to how I was raised and this is how I'm naturally wired to think or was naturally wired to think. And so what would end up happening is I would appear lazy and, and uh, look like I was procrastinating and not getting shit done when that's in total incongruence to how I normally behave. And you can try, like I have, you can try to will yourself. If there's something that you've been neglecting to do for like years and you say, all right, this is the time I'm going to get it done. I'm going to do the five second rule. I'm going to read the five second rule and count for five, four, three, two, one, go. And I'm going to do it. If you've been neglecting something for years and you expect some bullshit like that to work and you think you can will yourself to complete the task you've been putting off, good luck. That's an uphill battle. That's not how the that's not how your mind works. You're, you've been putting that thing off for years for a reason that you're not consciously aware of. And um, as long as you're not aware of what's stopping you, man, good luck. I'm not saying it's not possible to reach your goals with these limiting beliefs, but you're going to have a real hard time trying. Anyway, I'm at Green Lake. I'm between appointments. And uh, I just wanted to, it was just so nice outside. I wanted to come outside and walk around. I, I, I did a full lap around Green Lake. I think that's 2.8 miles, just listening to a lecture in my ears. Anyway, going back to the fear of failure and embarrassment, um, another example is I would be really cautious and fearful of what I would post online, thinking, <laughs> like if I if I did something great, if I knocked it out of the fucking park one day and uh, something great happened, I would think of maybe I'm gonna post this. But then I thought, well, when was the last time I posted anything about real estate? Man, it's gonna look like I'm not doing anything. It's gonna look like I'm very inconsistent with my time because I I haven't posted anything else. So if I post this, what are people going to think? Is this fear of um, it's this fear of public embarrassment due to the fear of failure or due to the failure that really stopped me from putting out posts and um, whatnot which is stupid because every time I posted I would get a couple responses back saying like hey I'm interested in real estate or whatever 
uh, interested in a conversation. But this fear of what other people think around a possibility of a failure in my path, in my business, um, due to that, I just wouldn't be proactive on social media. I wouldn't leverage it to its fullest potential. I, I just would, I just wouldn't. I would just hold myself back and just not do anything, which is complete horseshit. It's irrational, it's, Ill, it's irrational, it's illogical, it's dumb. It's so stupid. Um, the fact that I'm posting this is just huge evidence that um, I've overcame a, mile, a, a milestone in my life uh, mentally. So, pat on my back. Hell yeah. Anyway, if you can relate at all to this, I would encourage you to think, man, what opportunities? I mean, I just gave you two small examples of my life. Imagine all the other opportunities I've given up, uh, I've passed up on. Imagine all the decisions that I've, I've not correctly made because of this stupid limiting belief. Imagine how differently my life would be if, or your life would be. Imagine how different your life would be if you didn't have a fear of, a fear of failure or a fear of what other people thought of you. Imagine if you could just do whatever um, with no, with nothing stopping you from getting what you want, from achieving your goals. Imagine, what would life look like to you? What would that do to you and your life? What would your finances look like? What would your physical health look like, mental health? What would your relationships look like? What would your level of communication be like with people? <sighs> Everything changes. Everything changes when you stop giving a shit. So this is just, um, it's just been on my mind recently a lot. Um, if this is something that you struggle with, please give me, send me a message. I'm, I'd be happy to talk through with this with you. I, I luckily had someone wonderful in my life, uh, a good friend of mine to point this out and then work through this with me uh, within a matter of 30 minutes or so. Um, and it's life changing. It's, it's insane. It's insane what it'll do to you and your confidence and the way you behave and the way you talk to people and the way you make decisions. Imagine where your life could go. So if you could relate to this at all, I hope this encouraged a new way of thinking for you. And uh, if you want to work on this yourself, let me know. Let's talk, message me. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If you've made it to this point, if you've made it to this point in my ramble, my God. Just got a just got a FaceTime call. I want to know who you are because you're one of my favorite people in the world. You have a special spot in my heart, and I want to know who you are. So comment down below saying, "Hey, I'm here with you," and I'll know who you are. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.